simulate the PN junction diode VI characteristics. Here, I am using multi-sim software for simulating this circuit. For simulating the circuit, first we need to build up the circuit. In order to build up the circuit, we need to place the required components. First, go to this place, then select component. Under this component, the first we require the sources. Under the sources, power select power sources and then select DC power. Then click OK. Now place here and then select ground. OK. Place ground here. Then go for basic. Select resistor. We selected a 1 kilo ohm resistor here. 1 kilo ohm resistor. Then click OK. Place the 1 kilo ohm resistor here. And then we require a basic element that is diode. Select diode. Under this diode, uh, I am selecting one N4007 GP diode model. Okay. In order to measure the voltages and current, we require either multimeter or we can use indicators. Here you have a meter. It's a select a meter H. Okay, place the ammeter here horizontally and then voltmeter. This is a vertical voltmeter V. Select voltmeter V here. Place the voltmeter V element here. We place almost all the components, then close the circuit. Place component here. You reverse this uh, diode, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Under forward biased condition, the anode of this diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So that's why it's uh, under right orientation. Now you can make the connections. So in order to make the connections, just put this uh, cursor there and then make the connection like this. Next, go to this ammeter and then diode. Next, connect to the ground terminal. Here, the ground terminal. Next, this is voltmeter. Must be connected across the diode. So now you can change the label of this uh, indicator also. Select that uh, ammeter and then here you can select diode current ID you can place here. And then similarly here you can select the label voltmeter. Label as V. VF, we can select forward voltage. This is the supply voltage which we are applying to the diode. Here, just first change the value to 0. Then click OK. Then run the simulation. So here, for running the simulation, here you have uh, this green button. You can press this green button. Here the simulation will go like this. The green uh, bars will go like this if uh, you successfully connected the circuit. Here you find the value 0, 0. Then stop the simulation. The diode is not conducting. There is no current or no voltage. Here you can have the values in the tabular format also. 
this is the supply voltage which I am supplying in the V1 here this voltage and the current through this uh, diode and then the drop voltage drop across the diode next change this in steps of uh, point 2 volts why because uh, the diode cutting voltage will be around point uh, 6 then start now the diode started as some sort of conduction so it is giving some voltage here the supply voltage is uh, 0 0.2 volts but the current uh, through this uh, diode is uh, 0 0.013 milliampers and then 0 0.187 volts is the voltage drop across the diode next go for point 4 and then run the circuit then stop now note down the value 0 0.4 0 0.308 0 0.092 and then next change the value to 0 0.6 next run the circuit and then stop the simulation next 0 0.6 here 0 0.366 0 0.234 next change the value to 0 0.8 then run the simulation zero point eight zero point three nine nine zero point four zero one now change this to one one volt zero point five seven eight now you can increase in steps of point five strong zero point four five nine one point zero four one milliampers then three volts three zero point five one three two point four eight seven and then change to 5 run stop then note down the readings like this by changing the voltages 549 4.451 and then change the value to 10 now the drop across this is uh, 596 9.404 here the changes in the diode voltage is uh, nominal but whereas uh, the diode current uh, increases drastically and similarly if you can change to 20 volts You can run the simulation.
so for 20 it's around a point six four two to 19 milliamperes next similarly you can run for 30 So like this uh, we can uh, simulate for a uh, different uh, supply voltages uh, and we can measure the voltage drop across the diode and the current through the diode. So here we if you observe this voltage drop uh, the rise in this uh, diode voltage drop is a uh, very very nominal which is around less than 1 itself but whereas the diode current increases drastically or exponentially. So like this we can verify the diode vi characteristics so if we want to plot the curve for this so we can insert the graph for this you select this uh, voltage and current and then insert scatter select this line So this is the characteristics, VI characteristics of the diode. So this is the voltage drop across the diode and the current. So like this we can plot the VI characteristics of forward biased P-injection diode.